All right, so it's time for us to uh, create our schematic diagram. Uh, in doing that, uh, one really has to think uh, well before uh, launching on or working on it, uh, because you would want to uh, really only uh, include in your schematic diagram the components that uh, you, you really need. Uh, in this case, um, our uh, job is relatively simple because uh, we are just implementing a uh, USB to um, UART uh, converter. Uh, on the data sheet of, of this FTDI chip uh, has uh, pretty much all that, that we needed to give us an indication about what we want to put in the schematic diagram. Uh, so um, the thing that we want to do uh, is uh, shown essentially in, in this section 6.4 of the data sheet. Uh, we'll want to use the, the chip uh, and, and um, a couple of other components, uh, but especially uh, want to add the capability uh, with the help of a jumper uh, shown over here to switch between uh, 3.3 and 5 volt as, as, the, uh, as the supply um, voltage that we want to, to work with. Uh, in addition to, to, to this, uh, components that we we'll want to add in our schematic diagram uh, will uh, want to um, also uh, add uh, components uh, so that we'll have this um, communication uh, possible uh, with a microcontroller. Uh, so that that requires uh, additional uh, connections uh, to the uh, receive and, and then tr and transmit uh, uh, connections as shown in this uh, section and uh, one more thing that we want to add uh, is uh, two LEDs uh, that will uh, uh, show um, uh, the fact that uh, there is transmission we're uh, receiving. Uh, so once uh, we decided about all the uh, main components in the schematic diagram, we, all we have to do is to just uh, create the schematic diagram. So launch uh, KiCad as I did here and create a new uh, project. Uh, I will uh, place it in a folder where I'm working on uh, KiCad projects and I will uh, name it uh, USB to UART. Uh, so save and uh, have it created here uh, you'll see a couple of files being already created uh, the first uh, thing that we'll do will be the um, schematic entry uh, then later on a new uh, separate videos we'll, we'll do uh, placement uh, routing and, and uh, uh, Gerber file uh, gen generation so um, here is the uh, schematic uh, diagram empty page the first thing that we we'll want to do is to uh, set the page settings so I'll uh, change that to letter because we are in the United States uh, landscape and um, I will just uh, use uh, today's date um, I will call it uh, USB uh, to uh, UART converter revision 2.0 because I did uh, one version of this uh, with the previous version of KiCad uh, company uh, you can leave um, everything um, empty here so uh, I'll just say ok and uh, now is the time to uh, start uh, populating this with uh, components so uh, let's uh, go to ready to create our schematic uh, diagram uh, by uh, importing uh, instantiating symbols and connect them um, one thing that we need to do before uh, jumping into that uh, is to uh, add to our libraries the spark fun uh, symbols and footprint uh, footprint library so for that go into the main uh, KiCad window click on the symbol uh, editor uh, preferences manage symbol libraries uh, select this global libraries uh, add existing library to uh, and then go and uh, select uh, where you installed KiCad uh, share KiCad and you remember we had created this libraries and modules of uh, others uh, where we placed the spark fun 
yeah, select libraries and uh, with shift pressed uh, select all of this that lib and say open uh, and uh, click OK well it's frozen here all right so that done uh, we'll have to now uh, do the same with the uh, footprint so click the footprint editor uh, preferences manage footprint libraries uh, and go and bring here uh, the footprint I don't have to do this Yes, that should do the trick. All right, we are now ready to uh, bring in symbols uh, into our schematic diagram and uh, wire them up. So the first uh, thing that we'll bring in is the FTDI chip. So go uh, into your schematic diagram, click on this add symbol uh, icon, and then search for um, FT232. What is the one? from uh, SparkFun uh, instantiated and um, then uh, let's bring uh, a capacitor and uh, one by one all the other uh, components um, now in searching uh, for example for a uh, uh, capacitor uh, you can just search for capacitor uh, and then have a lot of options uh, over here including spark fun and, and default uh, um, symbols that, that came with uh, KiCad uh, to make our life uh, simpler here I have already uh, collected here all the um, uh, keywords that we will need to search for and instantiate uh, for our schematic uh, diagram so for example we will need for 100 nanofarad uh, capacitors uh, and I will just search for that so that uh, uh, we'll, we'll get this done a little bit uh, quicker uh, I'm trying to get as uh, many symbols as possible from uh, the SparkFun libraries uh, so I will instantiate that uh, here uh, I'll get a uh, ground place it uh, here and then uh, wire this uh, capacitor up as shown over here to the 3.3 uh, volt uh, pin of, of the FTDA chip uh, so click on this add a wire and uh, route this wire uh, like so uh, so using this a list of components that I need I will be searching and instantiating all of these uh, components and wire them up uh, I will let you do this on your own and uh, I'll see you in a bit with um, my schematic diagram uh, then as well. alright I have um, instantiated all the symbols I needed uh, and I wired them up uh, I only need to do a little bit of uh, cleanup of cosmetics uh, over here so I'll um, change this to E1 U1 and, and, and delete this uh, I will edit properties of this guy uh, called 
J1. Um, now this one is my USB uh, input type B. Uh, I don't need that to be shown up on my schematic diagram. Uh, this one will be uh, J2. Uh, let me call it jumper to remind myself that it's going to be the jumper to select between 3.3 uh, volt and 5 volt. Uh, this one I don't need it. Um, as you know, uh, if you want to bring this closer, select that, uh, hit M uh, for move and, and bring that to beautify this uh, schematic diagram uh, a little bit. Uh, what do I have left here? Um, this. Let me call it J3. We have only three J's. Uh, the value. Let me call it uh, UART uh, output. Uh, the USB was the input. This is going to be my output. This one I don't need to be displayed. So what is this? Uh, cancel. Uh, let me redo that. So what is that it didn't like? Uh, like J3. We're uh, almost done here with the exception of one thing. Uh, I want to instantiate uh, four mounting holes, um, which uh, will. Be placed later on uh, at the four corners of the PCB uh, layout. So let me uh, control C and control V a few times uh, here and uh, edit this uh, so that we have a nice numbering here. Once again, this will be uh, four mounting holes uh, that will have at the four corners of the PCB uh, in case we'll want to uh, install this PCB into some enclosure of some uh, sort. Uh, we can uh, add some text and place it here. Uh, mounting holes without connection. Place it over here so that uh, uh, this will remind uh, the reader of the schematic diagram what this uh, mounting holes are for. Um, with that, uh, we are done uh, with the schematic uh, entry step. So um, let's uh, go next uh, and um, uh, assign uh, uh, footprints uh, and then create the layout. Uh, we'll do this in, in the next uh, videos.